Hey, it's Joel. We find ourselves in the garage once again, and it's a quarantine episode. And we're going to find out if 3D printing scissors can handle cutting this mess on my head. And fingers crossed it does, because this is just terrible. So let's find out together right here on 3D Printing Nerd. We're in the garage, and this is a table kind of in the middle of the garage. It was once a desk, but it's now been converted into a table, and it's, it's kind of dusty. <sighs> Here's the goal. I saw online, on Thingiverse, in fact, there were these scissors, a 3D printable pair of scissors. You, you print the two pieces, you put them together, and then you make scissors. Obviously, uh, plastics, some of them can be sanded and sharpened. So what I want to do is put them together. I want to print them out in a couple different materials. I want to test them and then sand them and then test them again. And then if it all works out, we're going to we're going to get a haircut with 3D printed scissors. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? So here's what I did. I've already printed a couple out. So take a look. This is the model. This is what it looks like. These were printed on the Raise 3D E2, and this is in ABS material. ABS is a little bit more flexible, not as rigid as PLA, so I don't know if the, the ends of the scissors are going to be able to hold together tight enough to cut, but at the same time, ABS sands incredibly well. All right, that's those. This is PLA material. This is actually Atomics uh, PLA. This is their Starry Night, Blue Night lose something. I don't know. The spool looks cool. These were printed on the CR6 SE. It did a, did a good job. Both of these were printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height. And uh, well, take a look. So if you take these two and you put them together like this, and then you put some sort of screw in the middle, then I mean, <laughs> here we go. So I've got these screws here, I've got these washers here, and I have these nuts right here. Okay, so first, let's put them together. Let's put both of these together, and then let's test it on a normal 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. One screw, one, two washers, and one nut. The idea being the washers kind of squeeze it on either side. We'll get the ABS one put together first. Uh, the ABS one does have a little bit of an elephant's foot sort of thing where it's been squished down on that first layer. Also, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, my E2 has two different pieces of build tech on it because the I had to rip the other one off because it failed. Okay, let's put it together. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'm being 100% honest with you. No idea. It makes scissor sounds. So here's the test. Uh, this is eight and a half by 11 paper and this is a first cut. Okay, it kind of cut. I mean, that's... Yeah, it, it looks like the cut force, as far as the scissors go, it's kind of like, like right along here. It's not so much up here. This is pre-sanding. Here's the PLA ones. They feel more... These feel more rigid. So I'm kind of thinking right off the bat, this is probably going to perform a little bit better. Wow. Okay, it does perform a little bit better. Um, and not, not, not a super, super a lot of better, if that's even a word. I don't know. I mean, it might be able to cut hair, but, but let's sand it first. Let's get this, this, this edge sanded just a little bit more. I found this piece of sandpaper. <laughs> this is 220. 220. So I'm, uh, I'm sanding a little, little bit like this, just so I can... Get that elephant's foot piece off. Oh, that is a sharp, sharp edge. Wow. So when sanding with PLA plastics especially, the friction from sanding can cause the material to melt. So with PLA, one of the things that people do is, is wet sand. Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not wet sanding right now. Uh, but what you can do is just make sure you're not pushing too hard and you're letting the material the sandpaper do the work for you. Paper test, ABS scissors. Holy cow! <laughs> it worked! Got a little PTFE grease in there, wouldn't be perfect. All right, here's the PLA ones.
Uh, ABS performed better. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Huh, okay, so it looks like the cutting surface that is being used is right along here. It's not able to cut out here. And that's the same for the PLA. It's kind of up, up here, which makes kind of sense. These are plastic, so it doesn't have that metallic strength to, to hold it together. That's kind of cool. Well, I mean, let's see. Is it not? Did I get any? Okay, so, oh shoot. Is it not enough to cut hair? Ow, ow, ow. Let's try the ABS scissors. <laughs> okay, a little bit, a little bit. The shoot. So it looks like the scissors themselves, I mean, there's some hairs here. The scissors themselves can cut paper, but they're too slick. So they can't grab the hair and it slides down the blade of the scissors as it's being cut. Let me try something. So this is ABS. If I flatten this piece just a little bit, I wonder if then it'll be able to grab the hair. Okay, flatten just a tiny little bit. It just won't do it. It won't, it won't grab the hair. Of course, I'm pulling on my hair, so it's gonna come out just a little bit. I don't want to give up. I'm not giving up. It just won't do it. Ugh. I am so sorry. Let me see. I'm going to come up with an idea. We're going to see if it works. So I'll be back. A few moments later. Listen, I know we can't do fully 3D printed and that's fine, but what if we had metal? I mean, you know, in kindergarten, we have the scissors that are plastic on the outside and then they have the little metal kind of blades in them. And I thought, you know, I've got a bunch of these. What if I ground off the edges and then sharpened them and that would work. And I was like, well, that's, that's a lot of work. And you know, I have like dozens of these from all the 3D printers that have come in, but, but I have a better idea. Razor blades. What? I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad. Razor blades. The idea is simple. What if right here and right here, I attached a razor blade so that it cut, it was metal. And then in between here, I put a washer and the thickness of this tiny washer right here is about double the thickness of a blade. And if I have a blade on either side, it should work, maybe. Okay, but then how am I going to attach the blades? Hot glue. So uh, listen, I can just take a, a blade. Um, I'll need a paper towel just cause there's a little bit of grease on it. There's one. <laughs> I think I used too much glue as if that's the, that's the worst of my problems. Let's test with paper. Paper's fine. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get a haircut. <laughs> I gave the scissors to my wife and she's gonna cut my hair. I'm gonna take off my glasses and we're gonna attempt to use the scissors for as long as possible. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, it's not cutting them at all. <laughs> It's not? No. I cut them in the garage. Let's see. So I went like that. Okay. Okay. Get up there, Riley. Can you see it? Is it cutting? No. How is that possible? It was, I, just, I just cut. How is it not cutting? I'm curious, because I, I was able That's to cut. That's what I'm getting, like that much out of the. Here, you have to cut with it pretty wide open, because those are on the. Hey, I, I heard it cut. Is it not cutting? Not really. Okay. I got that much. So you're getting there. Yeah, it'll only take a whole day to... I hope it's accident. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> See, I've got some. Yeah. So is it, uh, is it possible? Ow. <laughs> Sorry, I got stuck in the... 
May we move to other scissors? I think we move to other scissors. Okay. I'm gonna go get actual haircutting scissors. Ow. Sorry. You're pulling really hard. <laughs> what is he uh, uh, <laughs> not while I'm getting my hair cut, dog. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> there, I got some more. <laughs> okay, well, why don't, we, why don't we consider that your, your, your victory lap, that little that bunch is. of hair. Here, wait. You still got it on me? Yeah. Here, let's see. Ready? 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 Okay, there, I got some. So at this point, my haircut is done. We used 3D printed scissors as much as possible, but uh, I could only take the pain so much. And then we transitioned to actual haircutting scissors and some buzzers, clippers, clippers, clippers for the end process. I'm gonna go shower up and clean off all of this hair and then come back after I've uh, washed my hair and put a little schmutz in it and we'll see how it looks. Okay, do you wanna get the vacuum? Two hours later. Here I am. What do you think? I think my wife did a pretty good job. Here, I'll do a spin. Look at that. There we go. There we go. There we go. I vacuumed up all the hair off the deck. Maya's right over there. Hi, Maya. These are the 3D printed scissors. And while the plastic didn't work to cut the hair, the metal, I guess, didn't really work either. But I don't think this is a failure. I think we just couldn't adapt the design. I think that had this model been uh, changed to accept razor blades or maybe had a shorter uh, a shorter blade so that this just kind of fit in or something like that. I think that could have worked really well. Uh, we used it as much as we could. I went as far as I could and during the pain and then, uh, and then we switched to real scissors. So big thanks to my wife for the awesome haircut and now I can go film more, which is great. But listen, if you wanna try something, don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to fail and try to get others to help out because then you can at least laugh and have a really good time. Listen, if you've made it this far, you're awesome. I really hope that you get to go and adapt a design or make something really awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. I do love you all. Fight for a cause you believe in. And as always, high five. Oh yeah, right? We could put the end card in there. Scissors, 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 scissors. <laughs>